Hey y'all, 2016 NSRA Nats in Louisville, Kentucky, and I got a 53 Chevy Dually pickup truck I think you're all gonna like. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. Jamie, what a cool truck, brother. Thank you, sir. Tell me a little bit about it. Uh, 1953 4400, sitting on a 91 Dodge chassis with 24 inch semi wheels, been milled down to 24s. Uh, it's got custom bumpers, uh, custom uh, wood hardwood floors, uh, the, from the cab back is totally hand fabricated. Uh, it's, it's got a custom deal build dash, all sheet metaled. Uh, so the cab and the front fenders are stock. All stock from, from the cab board stock. From the cab back is all custom custom built. The rear fenders have been stretched eight inches to the width, three inches to the length, and uh, the back of the cab we've we've rounded the back of the bed to kind of match the contour of the cab. The wheels are actually Harley Davidson Edition International Semi Wheels. That's kind of where I got the theme to do Harley Davidson, and I have a Harley Davidson, of course. Right. The back of the tailgate actually lights up at night. That is cool, dude. Thank you, sir. I bet that looks really good yeah. at night. The truck is using it. I have a. It's using for my business. I mean, I pull cars with it. I actually show horses also, and I pull horse trailers with it. And anytime I can use it to pull, I, I do it. You know. So yeah, that's not. I mean, it's a. It's good yes. enough to show, but you yeah. use it too. Yes, it's a. It's a driver. It's, How many it, miles you put on it? I've got ten thousand since last uh, May. Wow. No, I love the difference, and you did a beautiful job on that. Right? Thanks, sir. Thank you. Ash is hand fabricated. Uh, I skeletoned it all out to get the shape I wanted, and then I stripped it. I hammered all the steel out and, and got all the strips. So all this is metal. All, all metal, hand formed. Uh, bar, it's got hardwood floors. A friend of mine's a cabinet maker and never had done this before. And I asked him if he could do it, and he said, Well, it's worth a try. And so we did it. Uh, the seats are out of a 2004 Dodge Dakota, and of course, they're all custom by my interior guy. Some nice gauges, classic instruments? No, Dakota Digital. Dakota Digital. Dakota no, those Digital are nice. gauges. It's got a Flaming River column in it. Uh, we took three quarter inch square stock, twisted the shifter, and double twisted back. So it's got air conditioning and all that kind of it's stuff. It's got air conditioning, vintage air. Oh, that is nice. So you do all the work yourself? Absolutely, all the work myself. I do, I do have an interior guy, that, and I, I have a shop, and I've got body guys. The fabrication was all done by me, and uh, but uh, all the body work and stuff was done by my shop. What's the name of that? Rust to Rods. And is there a website or Facebook? Facebook. Cool. It's spelled with a Z well, on the end of the rods. Okay. R O D Z. Cool. No, beautiful job, brother. Man, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. And of course you got a diesel up underneath here. Yes, yeah, a 91 Dodge 12 out. Did a motor swap in it. Yes. Man, that's nice. That's just what you had around or you decided you liked no, the Dodge better? Uh, I actually had bought the Dodge pickup for this purpose and I drove the truck for a couple of months before I actually swapped it out to make sure it was a pretty good truck. And But yeah, it's... So it's a Cummins? It's a Cummins, yes. 91 model. What transmission are you running? Uh, five speed. Cool. So there you go, from a 2016 NSRA Nats in Louisville, Kentucky, a 53 Chevy custom pickup truck. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya!